everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm here with our long-term Chrysler 300C. And a lot of people were complaining to Chrysler, it's a limited edition car, only 2,000 models were being built in the US, 200 in Canada. And there's really nothing besides the 300C logo, because if you look at the car, you do have the Scat Pack wheels and Brembo brakes, but there really isn't anything, there really isn't anything saying like what number it is, if it's, you know, anything about it being a special edition. So, in the mail today, I received this. And I already opened it. I knew what it was, because one of my friends who's an owner got this yesterday. But this thing was hard to open. It was really sticky. Well, what Chrysler's done, and you might notice, like, there's a lot of limited edition Dodges out there. None of them are marked or numbered with which number it is. But Chrysler still hasn't done that, but what they've given the owners is this cool little certificate of authenticity book. And as you can see, it says, congratulations on purchasing your 300. It tells where it was built, the model year, what engine, the VIN, signed by Chrysler CEO uh, Chris Fuel, Ralph Gilles, head of design for Chrysler, which is funny because in a second I'll show you, Ralph actually signed my car a couple weeks ago. So I have it in a booklet now and I have the car signed. Uh, where I bought the car at St. Clair Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in St. Clair, Michigan. When it was built and the delivery date. And it's got a seal of approval here. And it's got this really cool holographic 300C. Just something cool to put up in your files or up on your wall if you collect stuff like this. And I thought it was a really cool thing for Chrysler to do. A lot of people are like, oh, my car's number is like here. If you look at my VIN, the last four digits are 0467. Well, this isn't the 467th car. The VIN numbers really don't mean nothing on these cars. They actually um, are built just alongside the chargers and stuff. So it really doesn't mean anything. Uh, they weren't built all in a row. Some of them haven't even been built yet. So it really doesn't mean nothing. But let me show you what Ralph did to my car, which is kind of funny. The car is kind of a mess right now. I just sprayed it off. and getting ready to go out on Woodward. Do a little Friday night cruising. I gotta dry it off yet. Just wanted to shoot this real quick. But I met up with Ralph at a car event a few weeks ago, probably about a month ago actually. And he was cool enough to sign my car. And of course, has a smiley face to the 6.4. So he absolutely loves this car. And he was the one who brought the original uh, 2005 Chrysler 300 to production. So really cool that he signed the car. Just something to add to its prestige a little bit. So, but anyways, let me know what you think in the notes about that little thing and that Chrysler sent over. And uh, tell me what you think. Is, do you think it's good enough or, I mean, I think it's cool. It's better than nothing. Um, I kind of like the fact that this looks super stealth. I mean, you have the 300C badge, and unless people really know what it is, it's kind of like the ultimate sleeper car. So when I go out on Woodward, no one really knows what it is. The people who do stop immediately and want to talk about it, but, but unless you see those Brembos and that 300C badge, it looks just like a 300S. So kind of sleeperish, love it. So take and leave your things in the comments. If you have any questions about the 300C, let me know and I'd be more than happy to answer them. See you in the next video.